welcome to Lady Red Crafting. Today is all about wood crafts. So I'm taking different wood pieces and I'm going to incorporate them into some fun Christmas crafts. So without further ado, let's get started. Craft number one. We're gonna start this craft out with a wood ornament from the Dollar Tree. And I'm taking a little piece of painter's tape and I'm just going to paint that down on top of a paintable surface. And using my plaster paint from Waverly, we're going to give a nice thick coat of paint on this little ornament. Now I'm gonna grab some truffle paint and Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to use that just for the little trunk on this tree. And now for the top of this tree, I'm going to use some ribbon that I did get at Walmart, and I'm going to cut two pieces about the same length. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loop around the first piece and I'm going to hot glue that in a little loop. So we're going to take some hot glue and just attach that together and set that aside. And then I'm going to grab a piece of gold ribbon. It's just a really thin piece of gold ribbon and I'm going to use that to tie my little bow together. So I'm just going to fold that and make a little bow and squish everything together in the center. And then you'll grab that piece of gold ribbon and just wrap that around and tie a really tight knot on the back side of this bow. Next, we're going to fluff our bow out as best as we can. And I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut off any excess gold ribbon and cut some dovetails on the end of my bow. And now that our bow is complete, we can take a little piece of hot glue and hot glue that to the top of our mini tree. And then we can just set this tree aside and we're going to add that to our project here in a few minutes. So I have this sign from the Dollar Tree and you can find a lot of different ones like this for many different seasons. And I'm going to go ahead and repurpose this sign. I'm starting out with measuring the inside square. And once I know the inside square, which was five by five, and you can just cut scrapbooking paper for this, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this is some faux leather that I got from Craftier, um, and it's a fun craft website. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in a five by five square. You can also find the faux leather sometimes at Dollar Tree, but typically it's in solid colors and not in a pattern. To attach this faux leather, I'm using a glue stick and once I've placed that into my sign, to make sure it's secure, I'm using one of my scraping tools, and I got this from the Dollar Tree, but Cricut makes one as well. Next, I'm looking on the back side of my sign to make sure where the hanger was, because I do not want to accidentally do this upside down. I've done that in the past, and I've learned my lesson, so don't make the same mistake. Now I grabbed some nautical rope and some hot glue, and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue some nautical rope on the inside of the square and I just want to make sure that this really gets nice and tight inside the square so I'm using my little makeup tool here to just help press the rope into the corner of this sign And now that our rope is secure, I grab a Changa block and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that to the center of our sign. Now we're going to add a little bit of hot glue onto the top of that Changa block and we're gonna grab that tree that we made earlier and just add that to the center of our sign. And this is how our lovely sign turned out. I love it, it's so cozy. This video is part of a lovely playlist called What Would You Make? Thank you for hosting Connie's Wood Shop, Crafts with May, and Rustic Lace DIYs. Their links are located down in the description box below. Please check them out and give them some love. Thank you. Let's roll right into craft number two. So this is one of my favorite crafts. I actually did this last year, and I do have a video that I'll link up here. It's not great, but it is one of my first videos that I did do on YouTube. So I wanted to redo this craft for this video. 
I'm starting out with these wood blocks that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm drilling a hole inside the center of that top block. And we're not going all the way through, we're just going down about a half an inch. Next, I'm going to use a razor blade and I'm just going to scrape a little bit of the plastic off of the bottom of this tree to make sure it fits nice and secure into that block. Now we're gonna take this wood block and put it on a paintable surface and using some Waverly Antique Wax, we'll stain the block. And while that block is drying, let's grab some ribbon and you can use any ribbon that you like. I tend to like ones that are about one inch thick for this and we're going to cut them in five inch strips. Now to make this bow, I'm going to make a little ring and just hot glue that right together. While that dries, with the other strand of ribbon, we're going to make a little V and we're gonna make sure that the pattern is on the front side so you kind of do a little pinch in the center there to do that. Using a small piece of pipe cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these two pieces of ribbon together. And we're just going to pinch them in the center and get that pipe cleaner all the way around that ribbon. Next, I'm going to dovetail the tails of this bow. And once that is complete, we're going to cut about an inch and a half worth of ribbon off of the spool. And we're gonna fold that into thirds and we're hot glue that little piece of ribbon all the way around to cover up that pipe cleaner. Next, I grab a wood star that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use antique wax and stain that star. Once the star is stained, we're going to use some Waverly chalk paint in the color white and we're just going to dry brush that star. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing and do like a whitewash look on our little block. And now I'm gonna grab some polyfill and I don't need very much, just a small handful. And if you don't have that, you could use like a cotton ball or something else instead. Time for the fun part, putting the whole tree together. We're starting with the polyfill and I'm going to make like a donut shape that we will then hot glue to the top of this block. Now let's put our tree into the hole of the block so that it will stand up. And I use a little skewer to help me out. let's hot glue the star to the top of the tree. This craft is a great craft that you can do for a Christmas crafting party. All you need to do is prep your blocks ahead of time and make sure you have all the parts and everything ready to go for them so that they can put these trees together. And here is our happy little snow tree. Isn't she so pretty? Craft number three. So this is a quick, easy sign that you can make. I'm using one of these wood blanks from the Dollar Tree and these fun stencils that I got on Amazon. And I did link the stencils in my description box below, so if you're interested in them, you can check them out there. Now I'm going to add the stencil to half of this sign. This is a self-adhesive stencil and it's great to use with chalk paste. And I get my chalk paste also on Amazon and it's by Redesign. And this is their black chalk paste that they have. And I'm using a squeegee to apply and we're just going to cover our stencil. Now here's the magic. Let's pull that stencil off and see what it looks like. All that is drying, let's put together our Christmas tree. And I'm using these ornament Christmas trees that I found at the Dollar Tree and they come in a two pack. And I'm adding a hollowed out star to the top and a little gingham bow. And the star I got on Amazon, so I'll get that linked in the description box below for you. Let's go ahead and embellish and decorate our sign. I'm starting out by adding another wood star to our sign and I'm using some wood glue to attach this. And I'm going to put this right above the word believe. Now to attach our Christmas tree, I'm using some hot glue and I'm just going to hot glue on the back side of the tree and then I'm going to set that carefully on top of the sign. You do need to press that down a little bit just to make sure it all sticks to the sign. I could stop here, but I felt like I needed a little bit more. I'm going to add a quick little sheer bow on top of the gingham bow just to give it some more dimension. And I'll add a second gingham bow to the other side of the sign to balance everything out. Wow, what a magical Christmas sign. 
craft number four. So for this quick fun craft, we're using some Changa blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm starting out by measuring one half of an inch on each block and I just put a tiny line there. And then I'm gonna take some wood glue and attach two Changa blocks together and pinch that with some clips. And we need to repeat this step one time. Once that first set of blocks dry, we're going to go ahead and add another block to each one of these sets. Put out using wood glue, and that works, but it takes a long time to dry, and I am not that patient. So I did switch over after this step and started using hot glue. While those blocks are drying, we're going to go ahead and connect two blocks end to end. And if your hot glue gets a little messy, just go ahead and wipe that off. Now once all of our pieces have dried, we'll remove all of those clips. And let's put together our tree. I start by laying out my tree on a nice surface. And next I'm going to add some hot glue and I'm just going to go ahead and glue everything into place. And once our glue has set, we're going to place this tree on a paintable surface and grab some paint. And I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color white and we're going to paint a nice coat of paint on either side of this tree. And if you're still watching, please put a Christmas tree down in the comments below. Now while our tree is drying, let's paint a star for the top of our tree. I'm using some silver paint and we're going to paint both sides of the star. And this paint was meant for glass, but it worked just fine for the wood star. Now we're going to hot glue that cute star on top of our tree. This wood tree, while it might still be small, is great for a shelf or on a tiered tray. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And please remember, craft more, stress less.